everyone, welcome back to the channel. Okay, this is the second part of uh, mixer conversions measurements. So in the previous video, we talked about scalar mixer measurements. And in this video, we're going to talk about the vector um, mixer uh, measurements, which involve uh, setup, again, setup calibrations and also measurements. One of the biggest difference between um, scalar mixer and so um, vector mix mixer setup is we have a reference mixer that's connecting to the port one um, receiver in and also the source out. So the, the diagram here is a bit misleading, but this is how it looks like in physical connections. It is a port one source out. It will go into the RF ports of the mixer and the RF will come and go back to the reference part one r1 um, reference with this it's actually converting the uh, rf to if according to um, the mixer that you want to test so one of the criteria is that to find the similar type of mixer to put in here and then you can do a measurements on the rest of the parts. So for this setup, part three, we are utilizing the dual source um, options in a PNAX to drive uh, both LO of the mixer. So that's why both mixer, this reference mixer and also the mixer under test or calibration mixer should work very similar re uh, region in frequency and also in power. The next thing is this is how it look like um, in the physical uh, connections. This reference mixer is connected to port 3 for the LO and this is a mixer under test, MUT, so port 1 acts as a RF and port 2 will be the IF and port 4 is the LO, which drive it. And this is how it look like um, in, the, in the VMC result. And let's start from scratch again. Let's go to preset, go to setup, measurement class. In the previous video, we select the scalar mixer. So in this one, we're going to use vector mixer. So again, here you can change um, to um, whatever re reading, whatever setup you need. Um, so for this case, uh, we just leave at uh, 10 kilohertz. You can change at any time. Then um, as I mentioned in the previous video I prefer to start from the first step and then go back to the last step tap and then uh, this is where I change to part 4 the LO to drive the mixer under test and mixer power again this mixer that I'm using is 7 dB for um, required for the LO then mixer frequency so for this v, um, VMC test um, instead of doing the sweep IF I'm doing a fixed IF, just, just to change the format a bit. So according to the spec, this guy worked from 2 gig to 4.2 gig. And we have, um, we want to fix IF, so we set it to 16 meg. So with that, we calculate the LO. And then for the RF power is minus 15, it's all good. And you will, you might have questions uh, whether we have to change uh, the internal to external because we are we are looking at the um, we have a reference mixer connected. So the answer to that is that this software will change it accordingly. So it doesn't need us to interfere with this setup. Okay, let's apply it. And okay. Okay, let's turn on some markers so that we can have um, some view. Let's put it here somewhere there and marker three, put it over here. So as you can see right now, it's S11. We don't really want S11. Let's go to measurement to VC, which is vector conversion. And let's add on two more traces. Uh, let's change trace two to VC21 and a format to delay. And trace three, measure VC21 and format to a face. Okay, so these are raw measurements uh, without calibrations. So again, it's very similar to uh, SMC where we have to characterize a mixer. 
for calibration purpose. So what I'm going to do is uh, we go to calibrations and we go to mixer characterization reason. So because we are not um, using waveguide, so we just go to next and our mixer is using 2.5 female. So this is our eCal that's connected and someone triple five. And then this is where we connect our eCal to part one. eCal to part one. Not sure. Then we connect the, the reference mixer, sorry, the calibration mixer to be characterized. So we connect the mixer here and with a filter and to the eCal. So we connected the mixer with the filter and this is the eCal. So we have a LO connected to port 4. And we're going to name this as um, VMC Cal Mixer and today's date. Okay, then we're ready for calibrations. So um, I will just bypass our power cow and this is where we load the characterizations, um, the reference mixer that we did, sorry, the calibration mixer that we did. Okay. And then we just go to 2.5, cow to part one. So eCal to part one. eCal to part two. Part two, eCal. Connect adapter between part one and part two. So we have adapter, port 1 to port 2. Okay, now we connect the calibration mixer with the filter to port 2. Calibration mixer. So we have calibration mixer. Low pass filter, LO, RF2 port, sorry, IF2, that's it. It's done. And we're going to save this as BMC, Cal, Mixer, 1705, 22. Convert that marker to a marker with marker delay at those three points. Let's change that a bit. Yep. So there we go. Um, these are the VMC calibrations, setup calibrations, and measurement being done. So again, um, as a summary, uh, one of the biggest difference setup for um, VMC is that we have this reference mixer and we have to characterize this calibration mixer. As compared to SMC, SMC we do not have this reference mixer, we just have a true between source out port to uh, reference R1 in. And we just do the measurements over here. All right, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>